How's it going everyone? Thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I turn flat plates like this into a working sponge pot like this guy. If you want to see more of our videos, just remember all you got to do is... Alright, let's get into the video. Hope you guys like it. Enjoy. Get this table set up. For this project, I'm going to be using 10 gauge mild steel. To help get my plate square on the table, I use these scrap pieces of 2x2 two two square tubing. One thing I like to do before every job is check my consumables. One reason is to make sure that the consumables themselves aren't worn out and also to make sure that they're set for the correct amperage. Right here in the side, it's kind of hard to see, but this is a 60 amp nozzle. That's where we're gonna set the machine up to as well. Now that we got that set up, can't forget our PPE. We gotta stay protected, especially with this stuff. Today's project has 22 pieces. I'm gonna fast forward this and get them all cut out. Now that we got these all cut out, it's time to get all these parts cleaned up. If you've seen any of my other Metal Shot videos, you've definitely heard me talk about this magnetic chuck. I absolutely love this thing. We're going to use a wire cup wheel, knock off all the dross and extra slag, try and get these guys cleaned up so we can move on to the next step. This is where this magnetic chuck shines. Not having to hold these little pieces by hand, risking yourself with the grinder, it's definitely worth the money. Now that we've got those all cleaned up, moving on to the fit up to start welding out. I'm using a couple 90 degree magnets just to get these things held in place so I can tack them. Now that's all tacked up, I'm gonna push that aside and start working on the lid.
Now that I got that all tacked up, I'm gonna move on to putting a couple breaks in the stack so we can get that welded up. Once again, using those little 90 degree magnets to get everything in place so I can tack it up. Now that I got everything tacked together, I do a quick little mock-up before I start welding this thing out completely. For anyone who's been interested in getting into this type of skill and work, I highly recommend that you do so. Go down to your local Home Depot or Harbor Freight or whatever and just pick up a cheap little MIG welder, something with low power to do thin gauge metal, and watch some YouTube videos and just practice. Honestly, it's a fun skill and you'll never know where it's going to take you. you guys like this. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, stay safe out there.